Hey team, let's talk about fructose. Uh, I haven't heard a whole lot of drama or whatnot about fructose lately, uh, but it's on my mind. So let's talk about it. So fructose, good, bad, avoid it, don't avoid it. Well, let's kind of just talk about, you know, what fructose is. Um, one big misconception is that fructose comes from fruit or that fruit is a high concentration of fructose. Actually, most fruits are less than 3% fructose by weight. So when you do eat fruit, you're not eating really an abundance of fructose unless you are literally having, like they say an apple a day. If you were having like an apple tree a day, then yeah, you'd probably be getting a good amount of, of fructose because that 3% would add up. So. Now, what most people are thinking of when they, when they hear fructose or not thinking of is high fructose corn syrup, okay? So high fructose corn syrup, actually the fructose in that is not, does not come from, uh, from fruit. It's, you would think like, okay, fruit is where you find fructose in nature. So high fructose corn syrup must be a, a uh, concentrated source of fructose from fruit. No, actually, uh, high fructose corn syrup, as the name implies, the fructose comes from corn. So very, very interesting. Now, a lot of times, like growing up and learning nutrition, I was a big advocate of fructose because it had a very low glycemic rating. It doesn't really affect blood sugar much because it's metabolized in the liver. Um, however, when we look at high fructose corn syrup, which still is metabolized in the liver, still has a, uh, a low glycemic index. And by the way, high fructose corn syrup is half glucose, half fructose. So the glucose part of it will be metabolized in other areas other than the liver, just, just so we know. So high fructose corn syrup is actually half glucose, half fructose. So high fructose corn syrup, although it may have a low glycemic index and things of that nature, uh, has been linked to, especially in, in the high amounts, has been linked to impaired glucose tolerance, uh, insulin resistant, high blood lipids or, or yeah, high concentration of blood lipids in the blood. So not good. And with everything, it's the dose. And we're just not built to have, you know, a, a bushel of apple trees a day. You know what I mean? Uh, and if we look and we're looking at our food labels and we're seeing, you know, uh, HFSC, you know, high fructose corn syrup and everything. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably something that we need to, you know, we don't want to fear monger about it. And be like, oh, fructose is killing us. Although it is highly inflammatory in when taken in high levels. So if you're like feeding your kids, say uh, apple juice, that's a high concentrated source of, or can be a high concentrated source of high fructose corn syrup where their physiology, our physiology just isn't meant to deal with that abundant amount of fructose. So really, really important. And again, when they're, when they're putting it, and the reason manufacturers are putting it in everything is fructose is among, or if not the sweetest of all of the sugars. So they get kind of more bang for their buck. They don't have to spend as much money, you know, in other sweeteners because they could just put fructose in there and get, you know, twice the sweetener, if you will. So that's why manufacturers are part of the reason why manufacturers are putting them in so much. So you just kind of look at, okay, the dose. And I bet if you go and just kind of look around your canned goods or in your pantry or, you know, where you store your food in your house and you just start looking, and they're, they're, it's very possible that there's high fructose corn syrup in almost almost all, a ton of your ingredients, you know, a ton of your foods that you're eating. So that is something that you might want to have an awareness of, but you definitely don't want to cut fruit out of your diet. And that's what a lot of people do is they'll cut fruit out, you know, okay, that's like 1% of where they're getting their fructose from, but then they'll go and eat all these other things that they don't even know have high fructose corn syrup in them, or just eat things that have high fructose corn syrup in them. Because again, fruit by nature is pure fructose and it's very, very low amounts of fructose. So hopefully this increases your awareness and next time you're grocery shopping, you can kind of look. And yeah, maybe a few items that have it in it, okay. But when every item's having it in it and we're stacking it on top of other inflammatory foods, probably not the greatest idea. So it's all about awareness. Um, hopefully this increased your awareness. And if you could share it with someone who uh, maybe needs to hear it, that would be awesome. Any questions? bring them to us, uh, macromissionary.com. You can email us, coaching at macromissionary.com. Uh, you can put, post a comment, send us a message. Uh, we would like to, uh, to get as much info out there that's going to help you be the healthiest person that you can possible. Have an amazing day.